Today is Wednesday, March 24th, and the time is 6, oh, 6 p.m. We are opening the Cultural Council meeting. As a preliminary matter, this is Robin Lawson, Chair of the Newbury Cultural Council. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Marguerite Flanagan. She's muted again. I I'll ask again. Okay, I, I'm here. You're here? Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Michelle Ouellette. Here. Margaret Russell. Here. Amy Thurlow. Here. Today is an open meeting of the Newbury Cultural Council, which is being conducted remotely, consistent with Governor Baker's executive order on March 12, 2020, a year ago. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings, and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. For this meeting, the Cultural Council is convening by video conference, by a Zoom as posted on the Cultural Council agenda, which can be found on the Cultural Council section of the town website. Thank you, Michelle. The agenda identifies how the public may join the meeting. This agenda can also be accessed from the web's, website's homepage by clicking on the box that says agendas at the top of the news box. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that all attendees are participating by video conference. We can now proceed. Uh, first item on the agenda is to approve the February 24th meeting minutes, which Michelle kindly sent out the other day. Have we all had a chance to review them? Amy? No, I didn't review them, sorry. <laughs> But I know. pull them up and I'll skim them. Or them. You... Margaret? Yes. Minnie? Yes. So mm -hmm. we can uh, we can vote to approve them. Sounds good. All right. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. The minutes are approved. Now we're going to talk uh, about term expirations. Minnie. I believe you have already written the select board to um, ask that your term be extended for another three years, correct? That's right, I haven't heard back. Huh. Well, you were not on last night's event agenda, I can tell you that. Hmm. Oh, huh. Yeah. That, that's funny. Huh. Well, you know what, I'll follow up because you copied me. Yeah, I sent that letter that-, that A month they, ago. The same day as our last meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's not if, because it's not imminent. Um, but I let's not make sure it doesn't fall through the cracks. Let, let me follow up with Julie about that and ask her when it will be on the agenda. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank uh, you. Lloyd's not here. Margaret, uh, what did you take your training? Okay. So mine. This is going to take a few moments because this has gotten somewhat complicated. Oh my. Um, uh, first of all, I did take the training um, last Tuesday, so March 16th, and uh, prior to that, I contacted Mina Kim uh, with a question because there is an artist fellowship that the MCC offers, and I'm interested in applying for that fellowship, but it wouldn't be fiscal year until fiscal year 20. 23, the particular category that I'm interested in. So I wanted to clear and see if there's any conflict. And Mina uh, responded to me. I, I sent her an email uh, February 28th. She responded to me March 1st. And she felt there wasn't, wouldn't be a conflict uh, because the uh, Newbury Cultural Council Ha, would not be voting on this. It's an independent panel that votes on this. But um, then I sent her a second question. Um, in the meanwhile, back in October, I applied for membership 
to the um, Maudsley uh, Outdoor Sculpture Group. So it's, um, there's no membership fees or anything. You just apply, um, you're pretty much accepted. The shows are not juried. I didn't hear anything. So this was back in October, didn't hear anything. Um, did not hear until the beginning of this month. I have an email that says your membership has been accepted. What I wanted to do was um, show a piece this September in their outdoor show. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I voted on the grant for the outdoor show. They applied for a $350 grant. So I wrote back to Mina and she said, you need to contact the um, ethics commission on mm -hmm. She said, I can't give you legal advice. So I did contact the ethics commission um, and I heard back uh, from them a week ago today. And I spoke to um, a person uh, for almost an hour. Oh my goodness. Yes, so this, the restrictions, I. I almost wish I had known that there were this many restrictions upon accepting this as an um, artist or artisan because, um, well, anyways, I ended up, I have three areas that the conflict of um, interest training doesn't really speak to. They're kind of gray areas. The third area is the Newbury Town Day. So as an artisan, I would not be able to show my work during the Newbury Town Day, which probably would also affect Lloyd. Um, so the person took all, all information. I repeated everything. It, it just, I don't know if she was not familiar. Um, so she would, she said, I'll have to circle back to you. I will need to present this to someone else. Her concern is even um, like at Maudsley, even if the pieces are not offered for sale, if somebody comes up to me afterwards and says, I'd like to commission you for such and such, conflict of interest, anything that's perceived as being a conflict is a potential problem. So um, I've not heard back from the Ethics Commission. I waited, I, Monday, I gave a call. The uh, woman that I spoke with gave me her um, personal number. She didn't answer her phone. I left a message. I said, I have a meeting this Wednesday, which I told her last Wednesday um, that I have people wondering whether I'm able to accept a second term. I said, it's, you know, it's difficult to find people and we would need to start ahead. Nothing, Not, I waited through today thinking, okay, could she possibly just work one day a week? So um, I thought I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Nothing, I heard nothing back today. So I have no response from doing what I'm supposed to do, which is um, contacting the ethics commission to determine. So I'm on hold, frankly, because I'm, I can't commit to something for three years that is going to possibly restrict me as much as I am starting to find out it's a restriction. You know, the, it's really ironic and frustrating that you, um, you had applied for the, uh, the um, sculpture uh, exhibit at Maudsley, voted on it, and didn't even know that you had did not. It, and mm -hmm. it, that is very, it, it, that just seems um, like a total catch 22. And mm -hmm. um, regarding Newbury Town Day, which it, the, the, the re, I really hesitate on that one, Margaret. Um, and yet, of course, you're going to do what you need to do. But this Newbury Town Day is, is a separate ad hoc. Um, uh, um, um, initiative. It's really a separate initiative from the Cultural Council. Except it, it's that just, it's like a dotted line, but at the same time, if that's we're what you're hearing. About it, we're we're yeah. discussing it and it, it started yeah. here. Yeah, you know, and, you're right. and you're expecting us to apply 15% of the yeah. fund to it per your PowerPoint. Yeah. 
Sure. I, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm following what you need to follow to find out answers here for, you know, I went through the, the training twice. I, you know, I went through, got my certificate, sent it on to the town. I went through it again when I wasn't getting any response um, to my questions and concerns. And it's still all very, um, these particular situations are not spoken to only in a general sense that perception of how yeah. conflict of interest can, you know, be all of a sudden identified. And the concern is after the fact. Yeah. You know, I talk I talked to someone at Newbury Town Day and they hear I'm, you know, I teach, then they come to me to, you know, as a student. <laughs> Then there's a conflict there. Yeah, yeah. So I agree with you that the the um, the ethics training is really quite fuzzy. But you're getting the answers directly from the ethics committee and directly from Mina. And and if that's what they're telling, I mean, that's what you that's the guidance you need to go with, right? Right. So I'm what I figured is I will call again tomorrow morning. I'm going to call the general number, which is the number I first called, and then they took quite a bit of information and said somebody would get back to me. Um, and then the person I spoke with took a tremendous, I mean, we went over it and over it again. It was, um, you know, I don't see how anything was left out. So I think at this point, maybe I call the general number again and just say, no one has um, yep. gotten back to me. I can give the name of the person I spoke with. So that's where I am. Well, Margaret. see, the thing is, though, Margaret, if you think that that if you you wanted to um, uh, lead the, the the team for the um, open studios for for Newbury Town Day, and you wanted to participate yourself, then that's a conflict. Uh, we just talked about that, and and regardless of what I feel, because you know I'm always trying to I'm always trying to break the rules, but but you're all, you're all completely right. And so if that's going to be something that you want to do, and it's a conflict with being on the cultural council, then I think the answer is right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it stinks, but I mean, we don't, I don't think we really need to suffer about this too much because you are, your term expires June 30th. Well, does it, or does it expire September 1st? Two different Correct. points. I'm September sorry, it 1st. is September 1st. I, I, was look, I was looking at many, sorry. Okay, so on the Newbury site, it says June 30th, also for um, Lloyd. Oh, really? Because I was looking, then I was looking at that from the state site. And then the state yeah. site says September 1st. I think the Newbury site doesn't list Michelle at all. So it's it not does. I changed it. Oh, you did? I, Good. Yeah, but I haven't changed everybody's expiration terms. That's why I just wanted to get those clear before I changed it. Oh, good. And okay. I need to, so I need to have Dean on as well. I, I believe it's right. On, it's probably correct on, this, on the state, but I can, I probably have record of all the emails. It's just a matter of, of looking and well, the one, one additional, not to prolong this because I'm, you know, I'm going to go on and see what I can continue to find out. Um, but the other thing is there's a period of time afterwards that you can't, it's generally a year that Ooh. you are I think it's, restricted. I think it's yeah. two, Amy's, I think. I think Amy S. was the last one who left and was thinking of coming back. I think she said it's two. Oh, but what I'm talking about, Amy, is actually participating in something Aside what? from return, oh yes, it's just I couldn't believe how, as I say, how restrictive um, this is. Yes, so when if I if I leave in September, uh, there are, will be certain um, situations that I can't participate in wow. for a, a year, a period of a year. That seems counterproductive, though. Well, I want totally. people yes. with yeah. It, it abilities and experiences on the council. Right. Mar Margaret, I would highly suggest that you don't just call the ethics commission. I would send them an email and ask them to respond to you via email. Okay. All and right. Outline the points having dealt with the ethic ethics group that I work with. Yeah. On a federal level, it just covers you a lot more by having okay. it in writing. All right. I will do that then. That's how, where I will go with it. Well, thank you for spending so much time and yeah. effort on this, Margaret. Well, I don't want to leave. You know, I, I really do enjoy being a part of the group and, and what we work towards. Um, but the other side of me is 
it's taking away what I didn't realize that it. Uh, that's terrible. I'm very sorry to hear that. Totally, it's counterintuitive, isn't it? You, you know, mm. you want the, the, the expertise and the perspective of artists on the cultural council. If you can't have it, pretty much um, hamstring this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. well, I'm glad you talked to Mina about it because this can't be the first time that she's, she's heard about it either. Well, she felt comfortable about the artists, um, the, the fellowship, but then additional question, she, she just didn't, she just. Yeah. The thing is you, you, what, what we've done of course is, is in these situations is people just recuse themselves. Right. But right. Joanne Johnson for years was president of the New River Cultural Society. Mm -hmm. and when that vote that came up, she would just recuse herself. From there are that, some. Which you, which you could have done had you known. Well, for that particular situation. Yeah. Um, for the Maudsley, I, I could have, um, but then there are other situations I can't recuse myself for the Artist Fellowship. I can't recuse right. myself um, really for Newbury Town Day. No, no, not at all. No, I was talking specifically about that one instance. Uh, yeah. Where there's a way or ways around it. But I'm mean, talking about the general concept of, mm -hmm. of, of essentially disallowing artists to be on the Cultural Council. And that's the way that's the way around it. But these other situations are um, the the, uh, um, the you know your inability to participate in things is is uh, um, it's understandable that that would be a um, you know um, ethical violation. Mm -hmm. That too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just so you know where I'm standing right now. Which okay. Is thanks. I really wish Lloyd had been here to, to hear that too. I think it's going to affect him. Mm, I was hoping he'd be here because some of this would affect him directly. Right. Yeah. And he's up July 1, right? He's uh, the same time as me. Okay. So okay. 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 on the state, on the state um, listing, Minnie, June 30th, Lloyd and Margaret. Okay. September 1st. Okay. Which I'm assuming is correct. Yeah, I would agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you know if he wants to re-up, Robin? You spoke with him, right? Yes, he, yes, he does. All right, well, then we should definitely see if we can get him at the next meeting. Well, I called him because I was concerned about him. And he said he had technical difficulties and he had every intention of being at this meeting. Mm -hmm. So, um, is his term up also, Robin? Uh, September first. Uh, so I, wait, I checked with him, and um, and, and that would it would have been about a month ago. It was right after our meeting, and he said yes, he definitely wanted to be on the on the council for another three months. He just um, I, I don't know where he is tonight because I made a big deal about his making it to this one, and he said he would definitely be here. I'm trying to keep an eye on email. No one's emailed and said I can't get in. So okay. Um, well, uh, and, and uh, you just sent out a reminder the other day, what, two, two or three days ago, Michelle. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll, we're just gonna have to tell him that if he's gotta make these meetings. Mm -hmm. Robin, uh, do you know off the top of your head what Jean's expiration is then? Oh, oh Jean has a ways to go. She's, she's, she just started in, I believe, January. Yeah, it's, I don't know where she is too. Um, Jean's yeah. actually- Oh, I think her, I think she started in February. February? February? So it's three years from February, 2021. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 I entered her on the on the state uh, website, so whatever's there. Uh, is okay. There. I, don't, okay. I don't know if it's top of my head. Yeah, I'm surprised that she's not here. Um, okay, so but we should we should probably um, keep moving. Um, I want to give you an update on Newbury Town Day. Last night. Um, I was invited to attend the select board meeting to uh, for a briefing on what it is. So I said, I'm going to keep it short and um, high level and then open up. And then I said, I'll open your questions. Well, I was not anticipating <laughs> the uh, level of enthusiasm with which this idea was greeted um, to the point where, it, you know, John Lucy himself was, was a volunteering to, to uh, support us and get involved however we would like him, John Lucy being the chief of police. So it was kind of fun. Um, I got a follow-up email today from Tracy Blaze who said that the uh, select board and the FinCom unanimously voted $5,000 to fund Newbury Town Day. 
so we so have what, we, what two boards did the, uh, but the finance committee okay and, and the select board so that was lots of fun um so we're moving we're moving apace and um I, I will continue to keep you uh, what's happening is there's a steering committee forming that will meet on 31st of March, so a week from today. And then um, Heidi Bram and I will be doing a, um, really uh, the rollout begins uh, a town meeting on April 27th, at which time we'll announce that we're going to have a, a charrette, which is a town-wide planning meeting, um, probably either May 15th or May 22nd, depending on the availability of the um, auditorium at the elementary school. And then uh, that'll happen uh, so we'll form working teams and, you know, to take on various activities. So that's, that's where we are. That's my report. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I heard that. Um, you said that they voted to fund it. Was there an amount? $5,000. 5000 Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, you know, that <clears throat> that's going to buy you, you know, maybe a few cups of coffee for your, your uh, friends and family. So there's going to have to be some um, serious fundraising because this, this event's taking on epic proportions. And if we have, you know, wet paint auction and uh, battle of bands and things that you know, really need to be undercover, we're gonna need a big tent, which is really a lot of money. Well, they do I, really I don't remember if I told you this or not, I think I did that I spoke with Bethany Duro, who is the site manager of Historic New England about, um, about um, Spencer Peel's little farm and she's all in. So that'll be the base of operations over there in Old Town with upper, the Upper Green and we'll just, we'll see what happens. But we um, will have that, um, a, a lot of the activities will be there. And I asked her if there was, a, I said, well, what about the vintage baseball? She said, well, that'll be part of it. So uh, will they um, provide some in-kind services like police support? Or anything no, like that? I don't think so. Okay, so we'll have to pay for all that. Uh, yeah, that's my guess. Mm -hmm. We can't. We're going to give 15%. The plan, as Robin has noted, is we can give up to 15%. We don't have to. Um, so that's something we have to cross next fiscal. Mm -hmm. And that it will be a drop in the bucket. Because yeah. you know, usually we get 5000 right? So that's not much money. No, but there are other sources. The MCC has yeah. a festival. Well, you know that, Amy. The MCC yeah. has a festival fund, and the um, Essex County um, Community Foundation yeah. has the uh, Creative uh, Creative County, and and then it's just banging on the door of the banks and saying, right. you know, you go down to New Report Bank and you say, here's what we're doing, and your ATM is right right there, so you should give us ten thousand dollars or whatever it is. Yep. Put and and the, what uh, I think we talked about this before the um, the fact that it is sponsored that we have state money and we have town money behind it, it gives us credibility and um, it's for, you know that's going to help with, with fundraising but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it we can't do anything without a budget and we can't have a budget until we we get this um, have these planning meetings and find out what the level of enthusiasm is and what the how uh, what the activities are going to be so um, and then put together a budget. And we've got um, the town moderator is um, is very enthusiastic about it. So he's going to be the um, he'll run the um, the town the uh, re, what, what, whoops um, what I am calling a charrette, which is not my term, but it's it, that's what it is, where you get all stakeholders involved to um, um, talk about planning. So Dick has said he'll run that. We'll probably have two, one in May and one in September. Okay, so I think we, uh, if, if there aren't any other comments on that, we'll move along to the survey. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, I'm gonna throw that over to you, Amy and, and Michelle. Sure, um, so we have a new IT guy at uh, the town. We had to wait a week for him to ramp up. And I've been in communication about with him about two things. One is to get Michelle a Zoom because I had a disaster at work doesn't matter, but I can't have the Zoom anymore. Let's just say lesson learned with that. Um, and it turns out Susan posted the survey on our page already like a year ago. So it's been there the whole time, which no one knew. He can put it on Twitter and the town Facebook page. Maybe he already did. We talked about that today and I gave him the go ahead. 
he's figuring out how to do an email blast. So the remaining, so that should be all set relatively soon. Um, and then we should see survey results start to trickle in. Um, I think they'll mostly come from the two social medias. I didn't want to push, he, he was like, I can't do it on Instagram because it's just photos. Well, naturally you could do it, but I, I'm like, I'll pick my battles, you know? Um, then the remaining question is, does this council agree that we can put it on the non-town social media pages like that, kind people of Newbury? I think that would quickly get us a bunch of survey results. Uh, I just heard from Lloyd, by the way, so bear with me a sec while I sent him the Zoom link. I just resent him the link, Angie. You did. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you can, if he checks his email, he should have an email from okay. Mark. All right, good, thanks. Oh. Did, Amy, did you ask Matthew if, if it's anything against town policy to put it on non-town? I don't so think he would yeah. know. He's just an IT guy. Yeah, I wonder if, well, I wonder if the town has a policy on that. Just I can ask, I can ask. Um, well, Robin, last time I asked Leslie a question, she said she, basically that she had discussed all of this with you, but I don't think you would have brought that up, right? No, no. Okay, no. I'll ask Leslie. No, I, I, I don't remember discussing anything with Leslie, which doesn't mean that I didn't, but if I did, I certainly wouldn't have, asked, that would not have been one of my questions for sure. Okay. So I don't I'll see ask it. You, and then, did you, and then, I'm sorry, Bart, please go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't see it posted on the town um, site, but oh, really? what is posted um, there for a survey is the Council on Aging. Oh my God, maybe he just thinks I'm old. <laughs> Great town. I only saw the council of aging one as well. Uh, did you right. I'll did push change back the dates at the then. bottom? We had old dates. Oh, it's month. right here in great big letters in the upper right 2020 Cultural Council Survey. Oh, did I miss that? Oh, I did too. I that. think so. Did he just put it on? Because I no, looked. he said it's been there. Oh wow! Where, where, where do you see that? I'm looking at it now. Um, let me share my screen, and I will show you. Uh, upper right. So can you see my mouse circling right here? Oh my gosh! I was just on the page. Yeah. Too. I'm sorry. Upper left, you guys. I do that oh. left and right thing. So oh. upper left. That's where. Okay. Oh. Let's we'll see if it works. I should have done this earlier. It does. This is exactly our survey. No, wait a second. Uh, and and the, the date the dates are wrong. It, well, for, it also says 2020. Well, she put it up there in 2020. Well, of so. course. You know, I don't see that on my screen. Yeah, uh, you have a different home screen. You do. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Yeah, you have a different home screen. That's the problem. That's why we don't see it. Yep. Oh, you, you went into the cultural council. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's I'm where all sure. our info is. Yeah, I'm yes. not sure many people are going to go into the cultural council. Right. Nope. Um, I think we need to get it on the main landing. Okay, page. I can ask yeah. for that. Yeah. So it, which you're showing right now, and you can see the Council on Aging Programs survey below, at at the bottom. Right. There. Yeah. And maybe we just change it to 2021. Does it have a date to respond on it? Uh, I don't remember. I mean, it's been a year since we looked at this. Well, thing. it also has the wrong dates at the end. And is it the correct survey? It's it is the correct survey. Yeah. It is. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The 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 more about Great. the culture we'll that. at the end to be updated Thanks. as well because that's all. If you scroll down, Amy. I'm yeah, right it. there. Exactly. Right I'm there. Looking at it. it needs to be updated. I know. I'm trying to see if I can edit it. Oh, look, there's a response. Oh, one. Oh, I am. I'm from totally Byfield. Is it one of you guys? <laughs> I'm totally confused at a time work. Didn't we just um, f finish approving and uh, tweaking this survey? Yeah. I could have been put in there a year ago. No, we didn't just. It's been a long time since we did this. It's, it's been almost a year, uh, many, believe it or not. You got to be kidding me. No, wow. I'm not okay. kidding you. It's COVID brain. Yeah, oh, it's, it's okay, Minnie. That's why I asked if it's, if it's <laughs> current 
survey because that seemed like the same to me. We just, I thought we just kind of reviewed this. No, it's not you. Okay. Well, so shall we change it for the 2022 grants and then make it for, you know, survey now for next year's grant? I'm actually, I think what we should do is take out this paragraph. This paragraph, it's not gonna let me do it, right? So um, for information about applications, see the Massachusetts Cultural Council via this link, the end. Cause we don't know, I mean, who knows if this thing flares up again, we're gonna change the dates. Right, right. General right. is better. At least it'll take it to them, to the well, site. Well, it, pro it probably, it, it probably, what happened last year ha with the dates had to do with the budget approval, which was delayed. And because my best pandemic. guess is that regardless if there's another flare up, it's not gonna happen again because by state law, and not that they always do it, but the, the budget needs to be approved. So our dates are predicated on budget approval, state budget approval and our knowing our allocation by September 1st. But I think I agree with you. We, we should just take it out anyway. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess we know I'll need to take the survey. Um, uh, so that's, that's the update on the survey. Any other comments or questions on that? Um, the, uh, by the way, welcome Lloyd and Bart. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work. I'm on my phone now. Three well, computers. We're glad you're here. Yeah. I don't know why. So I the, last thing, the last thing on the agenda is um, discuss creating and using council specific social media for community engagement was something that was kind of, um, something that you had brought up. Uh, that I had brought up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember Amesbury's um, Instagram? Oh. <laughs> Amesbury has Instagrams for everything. Their cultural council. I don't even think they're, they've, they've sent like three in a month, so they're not that bad. But right now they're interesting because they're looking for designs to paint the sidewalk. That's mm -hmm. fun. They did blast something about one of their funded events earlier this week or last week. Um, they blasted about their grants. They're not- And their survey. And they mm -hmm. did their survey. And they did their survey, yes. So, uh, and so everything that we're trying to push through a website yep. that we're on the third page of, yep. they put on Instagram to, the, to everybody. Yeah, I am 100% in favor of using social media like people do today to just generate some momentum behind our council. Right. I, I, don't, I don't know if anybody in Amesbury actually reads their Instagrams. They have 700 followers, actually. Well, I did look, but I mean, I follow a lot of stuff I don't open. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It, it, I did. It, it would be a good way to go though. I reached out to them. Oop, they have a story today. Yep, call to artists, submit a design, paint a crosswalk. Right. Um, I, think it's, I think it's a good idea. And I did reach out to them. Lloyd, I talked about this at the last meeting to see if you know, any words of wisdom, pitfalls, anything, and they did not reply. So hmm. we're gonna figure it out. Competition. Who, who can handle it? You know, that's where a young tech savvy person would come and help them. No Do you have offense. Anyone in mind? We need a new member. <laughs> I didn't guess. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Somebody who does it as a, a, you know, I can't even get onto the Zoom meeting. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to kick it off and then do a little recruiting for new members in the hopes that someone will take it over. And I'm, I'm hoping you guys can help, you know, one of the things I would like to see is 
you know, if you're out and about seeing something cultural, send me a picture or a video of it and I can put it up. You know, our members are seeing this today. You're in town, you're in Newburyport, you see something cool, or you're at the art association, you see, you know, take a picture, that sort of thing, just to keep it lively, because we don't have what Amesbury has going on. Mm -hmm. Correct. But you said something that I thought was important is that um, getting some youth in here, I think would actually be quite good. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I don't sure how to go about recruiting for youth, um, but it's something I think we should really think about. I have some students. Well. Yeah. I don't want to student. Amy says no school. students. Not high school students. No, no, no. College students. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking of a lot of the 20 somethings. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, Montserrat School or any of those, do they have art education programs where? They might have kids who want to do this as part of an internship to get it started. Good idea. Well, internships usually pay, so that's a problem. But it right. is on a resume. Right. Or the problem is, they, you remember, yeah. you have to, interns. I don't pay them a penny. <laughs> yeah, you I have to. I, there's plenty of internships that don't pay. Well, don't take those. <laughs> 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 plenty of them pay plenty well too. Um, well, I don't think it will be a heavy lift for a student to do. But you have to live here to be a member of the council. Right. Right. But, me, but maybe right. they don't need to be a member to help help out with doing volunteer. Yeah. That's a question we can ask Mina, I think. Can we have volunteers? Right. So somebody from from a college program, so to speak, who might be tech savvy and trying to earn degree points might be interested in helping out on a project like that where they would get, where where they would get credit and they could help us at least get it launched and show us what buttons to push well i mean i know what buttons to push on these things but I, my daughter did just graduate college i might be able to convince her to help out she's good on social media okay Great. yeah that'd be good yeah, i can I'm ask her yeah I'll ask around. I just she's a film minor. That's cultural. Oh wow. And, <laughs> and she lives in Newbury. No, she lives in Fort Collins, but her license is still in Newbury. There you go. <laughs> I haven't taken her off my census yet. <laughs> right. Um right. I don't I I mean I'll ask the people who do my I have I actually hire people to do my social media for my business because I'd be lost in it. Um, so I'll ask them if they have any ideas. But okay. in the long term, it might be something we should explore to get more information out quickly, especially if you guys start wanting to do this, this town uh, activity in the future. Yep, you missed that section of this meeting. Oh, I'm, I know, see? Okay. Um, I, I, I lost my train of thought. So I'm, I'm willing to start it. And then if we can start recruiting someone to keep it up, that would be fine. I hate Facebook, but I'll do it. Um, and then I had a thought and it, sorry, it will come back. Don't worry, keep going. Uh, Where will you so put it on gonna Facebook? Have, we'll, we'll have a separate, um, separate uh, Facebook page for Newbury Town Day. Um, I, I don't know anything about Instagram at all, um, but I, I do get dragged kicking and screaming to Facebook and I could set up a Facebook page for the cultural council. Um, the question is what will be populated with? What, what I like to see beyond what we're talking about is when uh, an event that we funded actually happened. 100%. To, right to post it, to to to, to publicize it, yep. that is going to be contingent on people actually telling us what they're doing. Rather than the only way that we know now is um, when they send for reimbursement, which means it already happened. Well, yeah. we could send them an email that says, "Hey, we've established this Facebook and Instagram page. Can yep. you please, if you're doing any promotional, send us a blurb. We'll put yep. it on. Send us pictures after the event. We'll post those as well." 
that's why it would be good to have maybe an, an intern or students, you know, either through Montserrat or something that could help out and get it going. Definitely. And I don't remember, I can look at the um, approval emails and see if I ask them to let us know when they're um, planning their event. Uh, but regardless, some of the actual um, uh, applications, as you re will recall, uh, mentioned a date. So I can go through that again mm -hmm. and, and just to give us some idea as, uh, uh, about when. Any, anyway, I'll, I'll take I'll take ownership of that. I would say if they can send us copies of their flyers and things like that, mm -hmm. it do is take a picture of it with my phone. Instagram and Facebook are owned by the same company, so they link together. Mm -hmm. Ideally, we have to post one place and it rolls out to the other. Mm -hmm. And then I don't have to look at the comments on Facebook. Instagram is just pictures, it's no politics, so it's much better. <laughs> um, well, with a Facebook page, it's, 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 it's not a group, it's a page. So it's not interactive. You're just putting stuff out there. Well, people will comment, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So where are we leaving this? I'll, I'll create those at some point in the next week or two. Yeah. You're going to create the Facebook and the Instagram? Yep. Because that way you only have one in lo one login. Okay. All right. Uh, and I'll look, I'll, I'll, I'll Twitter. I'll proactively I... um, look into all the approvals and um, either get in touch with, I'll, I'll take charge of, of, of asking Great. people, the grantees, to let us know what they're doing because we want to publicize it. Great. So that's a, that's a starting post. point. What, Michelle? Pre and post event. Yeah, pictures of, of who attended and if you can, you know, the yep. fun you had, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we could also hashtag if they have a site, you know, their own website. Yeah. They'd appreciate that because then that gives them more visibility. Yep, for sure. I guess right. while Lloyd, Lloyd, um, one of the topics was term expirations. Have you heard any more of your expiration? Did yeah, you I guess mine's coming up, so I got to re-up, huh? Well, you want to talk to Margaret before you do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we we should take some time. Is it all right for us to talk outside of? Yeah, just the two of you can talk. Just the two mm -hmm. of us can talk. Mm -hmm. um, conflict of interest, Floyd, regarding um, what we what we do with our art. Um, I, I went through with everyone. There were three areas that when I did the conflict of interest training that were gray areas and answering some questions as, as an artisan in the town and connected to different events that will come up, Newbury Town Day being one of them. Um, how if somebody approached me at Newbury Town Day and found out that I, I was a teacher and wanted to take lessons from me that could potentially be seen as a conflict of interest since I'm a member of the local cultural council. All right, well, then I guess that gets me out of this job. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. I, I don't see it that way, but I guess if you are technical. So, yes, I will I will confer. Margaret, I'll, I'll send yeah. you an email. Yeah, I can, I can. I can. So what I'm waiting to hear back is from the Ethics Commission, because there are things that just seem very restrictive, but yeah. they see it quite differently. Right. It's, it's unfortunate. You could but certainly it. use your position. I, I There's no doubt you could. Um, but all right. You it's, know. it's how somebody else sees us. Um, what could yeah. be identified yeah. in, in the wrong way, you know? Well, yeah, I don't want it to be a, a, a drag on the thing. And I certainly don't want to be seen as being dishonest or using my position. So I get it. Um, all right. So I'll I'll let I'll wait till I hear yeah. from you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And we'll leave it at that. We'll see okay. what happens. Yeah, I'm waiting to hear back. So once I get more information, then um, then neither one of us will be in limbo. Okay. 
No, I, I am a patient person. I, I, I can wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, it's a, and that's and everybody else is, is we're the only ones left. No, we're on okay. here. All right. So, uh, all right. Well, maybe I'll be back and maybe I won't. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a shame. It is. Uh, I think it's well, a terrible shame. Yeah. But we'll right. see what they, what they say. So, yeah, maybe not. Jury's still out. Yep, jury's mm -hmm. still out. Okay. As long as I don't have to go in front of a jury. All right. Well, that's what I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> well, what's your um, what's your thinking about Margaret was planning to um, head up for Newbury Town Day, the um, open studios, and um, and Lloyd, what did you have any thoughts in that vein? I mean, I would volunteers. I could put up a a display of artwork. You know, we could do lots of different things, but any of which could be a conflict. So I hadn't really thought that far out. I, um, but yeah, I'd be willing to do something. But you know, maybe if I just did the parking, I, nobody would mind me then. Well, but if you have the opportunity, it, 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 if you have the opportunity to participate in the open studios, or right. or to exactly. have an exhibit, you know, have a little booth to showcase what you're doing, then that's that's going to be a conflict. Mm -hmm. Right, but that could lead to people buying things and then right. that could be construed as me That's, um you know right. tilting the the field I, I understand all of that yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh uh, so and and rightly so there there can be conflict there so mm -hmm. yeah but maybe if I helped out in ways that weren't with the studio itself in other logistical things that would be okay yeah oh yeah if you if you weren't actively participating as an artist, I, I don't know that there would be any issue at all. But but what I I guess what the concern I have is that you would be restricting your ability to participate as an artist in in a way that you really ought to. The same as Margaret, right? I'm talking about it just doesn't seem right that well, you would I have to that you would have to you would have to be so muted because you're on the cultural council. Perhaps, so you but I also I have an artist in, in town day. Well, I, I understand that, but I have a lot of people who live in Newberry, um, Byfield and Plum Island, who come and work in my studio who could be participants, right? Okay. Ah, now there's a way around it. The, uh, yes, that could be right. a way around it, right? So yep, I'm, I'm sure I would find a loophole. <laughs> for, you know, for the studio uh, the participants, for the clay thing to happen and not be seen as a conflict. Right. We'll see. All right. Hey, this is... Sounds good. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Uh, and I apologize again for my lack of technological experience here. <laughs> well, how did you finally get in? Because you did not even have the, the original um, link that was in the stuff that um, Michelle sent out? I had it, but it didn't work on my, my fancy Mac. It didn't work on my fancy iPad. It didn't work on my uh, uh, tablet. I finally worked on my phone. I went through yep. four things. I've been there, Lloyd. That's why I just started on my phone to begin with. Mm. I've learned. <laughs> I don't know why. Right. But that's why I'm on my phone now. So there well, you go. I just sit here in front of an old-fashioned PC. Sure it enough. always works just fine. Um, part of my but, network. Okay, I, I'm sorry, but I can't feel your pain. But I, but I can at least empathize. I can, no. I can sympathize. I just can't empathize. No, part of my network is connected to the Governor's Academy because my wife teaches online, and I think there's a block yeah. on anything that goes. And so I'm probably not using the network, but just using the phone over the, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's probably be... why it works this way. Yeah, it could be. I think um, schools had to put weird parameters and restrictions on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, 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 that's what I think. But I, again, apologize. And I, I'll read the meeting minutes carefully. <laughs> you, you mostly missed um, the detail that Mar of Margaret's um, issues. Right. And what you'll hear about in, in my update on, on Newbury Town Day, which is essentially the fact that I presented at the select board last night and our plans were met with, with 
wild enthusiasm. All right. Well, it sounds good to me. And uh, I, I, I won't hold you guys up. I'll let you guys get to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have a next meeting date planned then? Uh, whenever. Well, we could do exactly one month from today. Or what do we have on the agenda? We can do um, April 21st. Um, yeah. What are we going to have to talk about? Updates, I guess. Or we could wait until May after you have your first stakeholders meeting and then we'll know more. Let's do that. Yeah. Good. Right. Oh, May. Well, you know, there's going to be it, it, regarding Newbury Town Day. There will definitely be updates um, <clears throat> before that. It, it, the, the question is, um, how, how do you guys want to get the updates? To what degree do you want to participate? Um, we don't necessarily have to have a meeting to, to do that, but um, because things are rolling along pretty quickly. So if we had a meeting in April, I, I'm sure I would have things to, to impart, um, or we could just do it by via email. Well, if we stayed with this schedule, it'd be the 21st of April. Uh huh. That works for me. Why don't yeah. we just schedule it? Why, why don't we just go ahead and schedule it? And between now and then, it, and we'll see what else comes up because the survey's going on. We might have the social media um, to talk about. So let's just schedule it. If it turns out that we don't, don't really have any um, updates or anything to discuss in particular, we can always plan until um, May. Sounds good. Is that all right? Yep, there it is. Six mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Thanks. All right. Well, I believe we should have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you next month. Good meeting Good night. adjourned you. at 6 58 p.m. Thank you. Thank Good you, night. Michelle. Okay. Bye, Bye everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.